Imagine waking up one morning and finding out you're a millionaire. That's exactly what happened to me when I was 24 thanks to Bitcoin mining. I mined 26.4 Bitcoins. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal about Bitcoin, right? Well, if you've been living under a rock, Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency without a central bank or single administrator that can be sent from user to user on the peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin network without the need for intermediaries. It's the digital equivalent of gold and it's been making waves in the financial world. You see, Bitcoin isn't just another currency, it's a revolution. A tidal wave of change that's sweeping across the globe. And just like the gold rush of the 19th century, the Bitcoin boom has created its share of millionaires. I was fortunate enough to be one of them. At 24, I was just another guy trying to make ends meet. But then, I discovered Bitcoin mining. And my life took a dramatic turn. Mining Bitcoin is like digging for gold, except it's done on a computer. The more powerful your computer, the more gold you can dig up. It was a thrilling ride being part of the Bitcoin gold rush. Every day was an adventure. One moment I was just a regular guy and the next, I was a Bitcoin millionaire. I could hardly believe it myself. But it wasn't all about the money. It was about being part of something bigger than myself. It was about being part of a movement that was changing the world. And that, my friends, is the true beauty of Bitcoin. But here's the million dollar question. How did I do it? How did I mine 26.4 Bitcoins? How did I become a part of the Bitcoin revolution? How did I become a Bitcoin millionaire at such a young age? But how did I do it? How did I become a Bitcoin millionaire at such a young age? Let's dive in. Before we get into the specifics, it's important to understand what Bitcoin mining actually is. Bitcoin mining in essence is a digital gold rush. It's a process where powerful computers or miners compete to solve complex mathematical problems. These problems are so intricate that they require a significant amount of computational power to solve. But why the rush to solve these problems? Well, the first miner to crack the code is rewarded with a stash of newly minted bitcoins. This ingenious method of rewarding miners is known as proof of work. It's a way to ensure that the miner has done the work to earn their reward. But bitcoin mining isn't just about raking in the digital gold. It's also fundamental to the operation of the bitcoin network itself. Miners play a crucial role in verifying and recording transactions on the blockchain, which is the public ledger that records all Bitcoin transactions. Think of it this way. If the Bitcoin network was a train, the miners would be the engine, driving it forward. Every transaction you make, whether it's buying a cup of coffee or purchasing a house, needs to be verified and recorded by these miners. Without them, the train simply wouldn't move. Now, you might be wondering, how does this transaction verification work? Well, when you make a transaction, it's grouped with others into a block. Miners then verify this block by solving the aforementioned mathematical problem. Once the problem is solved, the block is added to the blockchain, and the transactions within it are considered verified. So, in a nutshell, Bitcoin mining serves two purposes. First, it rewards miners with Bitcoins for their work, incentivizing them to continue mining. Second, it plays a vital role in maintaining the integrity and functionality of the Bitcoin network by verifying transactions. Now that we understand the basics, let's explore how I got started in Bitcoin mining. Getting started in Bitcoin mining isn't as daunting as it may seem. I started with just a basic computer and a drive to learn. My journey began with just a hint of curiosity, a laptop and a stable internet connection. The world of Bitcoin mining was a mystery I was eager to unravel. To kick things off, the first thing you need is hardware. In the early days, an ordinary computer could do the job. However, as the mining process has become more complex, so has the hardware needed. Today, you'll need a dedicated Bitcoin mining rig. These machines are specialized computers optimized for the calculations required in Bitcoin mining. Next, you need mining software. This is the program that will connect your hardware to the Bitcoin network, allowing it to solve the complex mathematical problems that underpin the mining process. There are many options available, some free and some paid, but it's essential to choose one that's reliable and user-friendly. But perhaps the most critical ingredient in Bitcoin mining is knowledge. Like any field, becoming proficient requires a commitment to learning and understanding the ins and outs of the trade. I spent countless hours researching, reading and learning from others in the community. It was a steep learning curve, but it was worth every second. Apart from this, you need to keep an eye on the cost of electricity. This is because Bitcoin mining requires a lot of computational power, which in turn uses a lot of electricity. 
The cost of electricity can significantly impact the profitability of your Bitcoin mining operation. Lastly, patience is a virtue in the world of Bitcoin mining. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme and it requires a lot of time and dedication. But with patience and persistence, the rewards can be substantial. With the right equipment and a willingness to learn, anyone can get started in Bitcoin mining. But let's talk about how to actually mine Bitcoins. Mining Bitcoins isn't just about having the right equipment, it's also about following the right process. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of Bitcoin mining. The first step is setting up a mining rig. This isn't your average desktop computer. A mining rig is a custom-built computer designed specifically for mining cryptocurrencies. The heart of the rig is the graphics processing unit or GPU, which is significantly more powerful than the average computer's CPU. A key consideration when setting up your rig is power efficiency. Mining Bitcoin is an energy-intensive process, so you'll want to ensure that your rig is as energy-efficient as possible. This will not only reduce your electricity bill, but also increase the lifespan of your rig. Once your rig is set up, the next step is to install a Bitcoin wallet. This is a digital wallet where you'll store your Bitcoin rewards. There are many types of wallets available, including hardware wallets, software wallets, and online wallets. Each has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, so choose one that suits your needs best. With your wallet installed, you're now ready to join a mining pool. Mining pools are groups of miners who work together to solve blocks. By joining a pool you're increasing your chances of earning Bitcoin. When a pool successfully mines a block, the reward is shared among the pool members. Now, on to the actual mining process. This involves your computer solving complex mathematical problems. In the Bitcoin network, these problems are called blocks. When your computer solves a block, it's essentially verifying a group of Bitcoin transactions. But here's where it gets tricky. The Bitcoin network intentionally makes these problems difficult to solve. This is to ensure that the total amount of Bitcoin mined doesn't exceed 21 million coins, the maximum number of Bitcoins that will ever exist. This is where your powerful GPU comes into play. The more powerful your GPU, the quicker you can solve these problems, and the more Bitcoin you can mine. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Bitcoin mining comes with its fair share of challenges. The biggest one is the increasing difficulty of mining. As more people start mining Bitcoin, the network automatically increases the difficulty of the problems to be solved. This means that over time you'll need more powerful hardware to mine the same amount of Bitcoin. Another major challenge is the volatility of Bitcoin's value. The price of Bitcoin can fluctuate wildly, which can significantly impact your mining profits. Despite these challenges, with the right strategy and a bit of luck, Bitcoin mining can be a lucrative venture. You'll need to continually upgrade your hardware, keep a close eye on the Bitcoin market, and be prepared to adapt your strategy as the mining landscape changes. And that's how I mined 26.4 Bitcoins. But what are the key takeaways from this journey? Bitcoin mining can be a lucrative endeavor, but it's not without its challenges. We've journeyed through the gold rush of Bitcoin, unveiling the basics of Bitcoin mining and how to get started. We've explored the meticulous process of mining, illuminating the possibility of turning a tidy profit. My personal story is a testament to the potential of this digital frontier. With a strong understanding of the foundational elements, I was able to mine 26.4 bitcoins at the ripe age of 24. However, remember that it's not a walk in the park. It's a journey filled with technicalities, challenges, and a need for constant learning. So, if you're intrigued by the world of Bitcoin mining, I encourage you to dive deeper. Research, learn, and equip yourself with the necessary knowledge. It's a world teeming with potential, waiting for you to tap into it. That's my story of how I mined 26.4 bitcoins at 24 years old. Remember, the world of cryptocurrency is full of potential. All it takes is a little bit of knowledge and a lot of determination. Good luck on your journey.